Van Mass has sent me two car mounts to install and to compare. They have a new upgraded version of one of their car, car mounts and then they have one of their older car mounts. So I'm gonna quickly unbox the old car mount and show you what it comes with. And I think they come with pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much just pretty standard. It's got your little thing that holds the phone in. Nice little like uh, plated little area in there that's little plastic right there. It's got a couple pads on the side and a pads right there on the bottom. It also comes with a little clip for your vent so that if you don't want to install this on top of your uh, dashboard, then you can use this and install the mount onto your vent and use that instead. Comes with a little mounting plate right here, so it gives you some usage tips. Comes with the user manual, it comes with a couple of wipes, and also it comes with the main mounting section. This is telescopic, so you can unscrew that and this will telescope out and also this arm will go up and down like this but this is the old one we're going to get this installed and then we're going to install the new one i'm just going to take this little plastic peeling off right here and now i have this suction cup and now i should be able to just press it down where i want it which is right about here let's just do it press this thing down pretty hard and there's this thing right here push that down there we go got my telescopic thing come out like that you go in all right, again, this is the old Van Mass car mount. The newer one, of course, comes with this place where you mount your phone. So it's got this cool little button on the back. The first one had this as well. Where you push the button and that extends. Then you can just squeeze your phone in place like that. It comes with a little knob right there. That's a little screw that tightens down. It tightens down on the telescopic rod. Also, it comes with, of course, a plate. It also comes with this little thing that goes on your vent, just like the old one. It also comes with a user manual and a white pad, just like the other one. The main mounting plate, and this looks a little bit different. Uh, let's see, this telescope's about the same distance, it looks like, uh, and also it's built just a little bit differently as far as how it works, so it looks like it's pretty good. You can go in many different directions and angles. Uh, the one main difference that I see about this is that it doesn't have the press down suction cup, but it has the lockdown rotation thing here, so that is an upgrade, and this uh, probably pulls the air out a little bit better than the press down suction cup, which uh, probably loses its adhesive uh, connection over time. Let's just get this one installed and see how this one looks. We've got some adhesive stickiness right there, so I'm gonna pull that off. I'm gonna stick this down. Um, just that stuck actually really well. This is the new one, and you see this little thing right here is pretty loose. I'm gonna tighten that pretty tight here in just a second so that this thing stays really well. Screw that down. All right, that is solid. That is the new one right there. Yeah, I'm digging this one. This new one is the way to go. Yeah, all right. Now I'll just tighten that nut down a little bit more, but I can rotate that sideways if I wanna watch something sideways. I think you can do that with this other one too. Yeah, so they have the same plates here on the front. This is a nice smooth surface here on the sides. Um, it's got a little bit of texture there to help keep your phone in place. It's padded, both side, both of these are padded here and both of them are padded on the inside. What makes the difference here is the telescope here. This one on the left side, telescope's a little bit better differently, has these little grooves to keep this plate thing in place where you want it, whereas that does not have those grooves. They both telescope about the same distance. And the main biggest difference is this is a pressing suction cup, so you would press that down in order to get it to lock. There's a little press down there and that locks it, as opposed to this one, which you actually rotate and twist and you lock that one down right there. So if you can rotate and twist and lock that one down, that is solid. The temperature rating on this is a lot higher. This thing can get up to 212 degrees. It can withstand those kind of temperatures, whereas this one probably would not be able to do that. So I'm gonna take this one, sit that one in there, squeeze that. So this seems to be pretty good. Here's what I noticed. This is the old one right now. So I squeeze that pretty tight. So you know, that that actually works really well. The thing is, is if I'm moving and this is bouncing around, you can see right down there that that suction cup moves a little bit there. So that is not gonna be as sturdy as the new one. Cool thing is you can still just push the button and it opens right up. I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna mount that right there. I'm gonna squeeze that together. Let's see what we've got here. So that's mounted in there. This is the, the new Van Mass phone mount for the car. Okay, so if this one's moving around, look, that's not moving at all. This is moving around, that's not moving. So that is a lot more secure. Highly recommend the new Van Mass car mount.